My name is uh, Roger Rovkamp. I work at the NASA Johnson Space Center. I'm a robotics engineer. I'm currently working in an emerging field called wearable robotics. People are becoming more comfortable with uh, the man and machine becoming closer together. In the past, uh, there may have been hesitation or this the technology wasn't there, it wasn't compact enough. Um, but now we've kind of reached a, a tipping point of sorts where all this technology is coming together at the right time and we're seeing a lot of applications for it, especially in space flight. The lower extremity exoskeleton is uh, a wearable robotics. It's uh, got four active degrees of freedom uh, and six passive degrees of freedom. The applications are in assistive mobility, uh, human augmentation, um, exercise, and uh, applications that we haven't thought of yet. There are a lot of terrestrial applications. Uh, one very important application is assistive mobility, so we can assist people with uh, paraplegia or just weakness and things like that. A key component of this project was the, uh, the opportunity to work with uh, some people that had uh, paraplegia. The moment we, ha we got to work with them um, and kind of see the, you know, just the energy they had to put into uh, what we were developing, it's just exciting. I mean, there's so many applications and you get the opportunity to work with such great people and you get to help people. Can't beat that. We're very proud of the glove. Uh, the technology for the glove was developed in uh, collaboration with uh, General Motors. And uh, with General Motors and NASA working together, developed 44 patents. And some of those patents and that technology was put into the glove to assist uh, assembly line workers in manufacturing plants. It's a uh, dynamic human space flight. It's just a great cause. And now we're, we're being able to apply that to uh, terrestrial applications. And that just makes it that much more um, exciting for me. I love it. Anything you can do to make life better on Earth.